Hello students, how are you all? So this is your KP Sir Krishna Prakash. So today we are here to discuss concept through questions. We are continuing the series. So this is third video. First we completed population forecasting. Then we finished water demand. Then the third one sources are conveyance of what we are going ahead. So this concept through questions. Series of questions will help you to revise the concept, to understand how the questions are coming in state exam, SSC, as well as gate one mark. You can understand it very well to crack your dreams. So because preparation is one aspect. You can prepare so much lot of theory, so much concept and write the notes, bundle of pages. But from that bundle of pages, from that lot of content, what is needed exactly for the exam that can be known by solving questions only. So you can understand what to study, what not to study, what to remember more, what to remember less and how the question approach in the examination by this concept through questions and you can fulfill your dream of whatever your government job. So, you can follow me in an academy. Click on the barcode. It will redirect you to all my special classes in an academy. You can watch all my free classes in an academy. You click on follow me. So that whenever I take a special class in an academy, you can follow it. You can take an academy subscription using my code KP Civil. And you can come under my personal guidance. I will guide you. To your dream job. So use the code KP Civil, come under my personal guidance. And if you want to talk with me, Telegram through Telegram, send a message through KP Civil. And our Telegram channel is KP SAR Students. Join in our Telegram channel, KP SAR Students. <laughs> so today's our topic under discussion: sources and conveyance of water. The devices which are installed for drawing water from source. To take water from source and give to treatment plant. So in between, this is a source. And here water treatment plant. So we can use a pipeline or a canal to take water for journey, conveyance. But they are talking about extracting water and drying the water so source to intake water will be taken from the source by intake intake will give it to conduit withdrawal conduit now this withdrawal conduit will give water to treatment plant so this is the journey whatever water available in the source will be taken drawn extracted by intake which is very deep below the source, which is provided at a very lowest level, deep level at the source. Upstream to the city, it should be upstream to the city. And that intake will take water from source and supply towards conduit. Conduit will give to treatment plant. So what is withdrawing the water? Intake is going to withdraw water from the source. Devices installed for withdrawing water from source intake. <clears throat> if head loss is HF, head loss is HF, discharge Q, L is length of the pipe, F is frictional factor, D is diameter, then their relationship will be. <coughs> and if you are seeing such kind of question, First check options, writing relationship with respect to what parameter. So all options are showing writing the relationship with respect to head loss due to friction, HF. HF. So for HF we have the equation provided through Darcy. Darcy Wiesbach equation. So we know Darcy Wiesbach equation. HF is equal to 
एफ एल वी स्क्वायर बाय टू जी डी दिस इज अवर रेग्युलर फॉर्मुला दट इज अवर रेग्युलर फॉर्मुला एफ एल वी स्क्वायर बाय टू जी डी एंड वी इज इक्वल टू क्यू बाय सरफेस एरिया सो वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू क्यू स्क्वायर अपॉन पाई बाय फोर डी स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर Q square upon pi by 4 d square whole square. So already 1d here, d square whole square d power 4. So that will become d power 5 right? when you take in HF. And after substituting over here, this one v square. What you are getting is f l q square upon 12.1 d power 5. <coughs> F L Q square upon 12.1 d power 5 after substitute. Hazen William formula for pipe flow velocity. Hazen William formula V is equal to K C R to the power 0.63 S power 0.5. K is one more constant, C is one more constant. Only one constant we have C. That C is Hazen William coefficient. So only one constant option A wrong. Option C and option D nothing. No options because no constant provided. So option B 0.85 C C is nothing but Hazen William coefficient. R power 0.63 S power 0.54. This is correct, na? This is correct now. We know this. R power 0.63, S power 0.54. We know this. 0.85 C. Hazen William coefficient. Chala. Water may not contain much impurities if its sources. Reservoir storage water. in storage water there is a growth of algae and other microbes there will be formation of some turbidity scum layer on the top there will be deposits stream flowing in plains stream flowing in plains like river canal it is open to atmosphere flowing so many distances lake in lower regions lake and reservoir have the same problem algae and weeds problem then spring spring along hill slopes the best quality no doubt because it is coming from deep from the bottom of ground water table rising up and impurities will be stopped by the capillary spaces while rising up water is only pushing up the best quality of surface source spring we have written spring <coughs> best quality of surface source so no much impurities no much impurities best quality of surface source spring is the best quality of surface source along hill slope <coughs> <coughs> most important source of water for public water supply <clears throat> most important source of water for public water supply public water supply needs huge quantity because a city a town consists of huge lakhs and crores of population so water supply source also must be several million liters more than 100 200 million liters required several million liters of water and very important along with the source it must be a perennial the source must be perennial public water requirement is throughout 365 days throughout 365 days water requirement will be there so the source must be perennial source throughout 365 days it must supply the water so the river is the best source which can provide the water throughout 365 days <laughs> highest yield of water can be expected from yield should be more 
springs, gravity or surface springs, artesian well, aquifuse. Aquifuse never provide the water, no yield. <coughs> gravity spring and surface spring. They are not at all giving that much yield. Highest yield is from artesian. Because artesian wells are coming from confined aquifer. Confined. Artesian is nothing but confined. Confined aquifer will give more water. Source of artesian well is a confined well. Underground water is obtained from. River flowing water. Lake just subsurface zone of saturation. Reservoir carry the source again. River. Spring. The best. Very deep from ground water body. Ground water table. Very very deep. That is a spring only. Underground water is obtained from springs. Water free from impurity. Means no impurities free. Means impurities absent. No impurities means free from impurity. Impurities are absent. Impurities are absent in spring. Already we discussed na, this previous question. Identify incorrect statement. Groundwater has carbon dioxide and hardness. True. Because groundwater contain carbon dioxide, so we need to do aeration process. Groundwater contain calcium, magnesium deposits, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate deposits. Hardness it carries, so we need to perform softening. It is true only. Lake water at the bottom has a low DO and a color. Lake water at the bottom does not carry color. Maybe DO sometimes it is low. But it does not carry color at the bottom. At the bottom, no color. Top, it is carrying color. So, this is incorrect statement. We need to go with incorrect. Incorrect is B. Canal water has low organic content. Surely, water is continuously flowing. Organic content does not carry in the canal water. And it is open to atmosphere. Atmospheric oxygen is entering into canal water. So, it carry high DO. True. It is true. This is true. This is true. Then, river water in floods, because of flood, it carry high turbidity. And that high turbidity containing impurities will block air unable to enter and oxygen reduce so that low DO. True. So, what is the wrong, incorrect lake water at the bottom? Having the color and low DO. Wrong. Consider following statements. While deciding to locate an intake structure for a city. You are deciding to locate an intake structure where the city. Within the city. On a river bank. City situated on a river bank. City river ka bazu mein tha. Intake for water supply should be located. Intake must be placed very deep. Intake must be placed in deep water. Sufficiently away from shorelines. Shorelines means tidal movements of water. Pressure of water from the river. Hitting. River water will hit. And it does not cause pressure of our intake structure. So that it must not hit means it should be away from shorelines. It should be away from shorelines. Ultimately, the source must be at upstream. Required city must be at a downstream, upstream of the city. But it must not be near navigation channel. It must not be near navigation. Because the navigation channel is nothing but transport. Ship is coming, boat is coming. It will hit the intake. Intake will be damaged, the pipelines will be damaged. It must not be near navigation channel. So, what is the answer? 1, 2, 1, 3, 4. Sorry, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Option B. <coughs> Option B. So, guys, from sources and collect conveyance of water, these are the only important points you need to learn. Next coming topic.
very very important for any exam the most important topic for any exam quality of water so don't miss that video and follow me on an academy use the code kp civil join our telegram channel kp sar students okay let's crack it